Hey guys, it's Miranda here at Sunshine and Grace, and I realize it's been like, you know, way too long since I made a video. Life got really crazy last week and over the weekend, so I didn't really get, I did try this, this exact video uh, multiple times, Saturday and Sunday, and it just didn't happen. So, um, we're trying it again today, but I have, I, I don't have time to dilly daddle because I got to get two more recorded before... Start my job at 10. Just crushed my cat. Great. Off to a wonderful start. <laughs> I didn't actually crush her, but I scared her. Because I didn't realize she was behind me when I moved my chair. She likes to crush herself in to little places where she doesn't belong. But anyways, it's beside the point. Today what I want to do is um, something a little different for here at Sunshine and Grace. I don't normally do this. But, um... I want to reveal some happy mail that I received from my friend um, Lynn Benke over at Sparkles Creation Art. Last week she sent me the sweetest package that arrived just in time to be exactly what I needed on a day when I was really not a very happy camper. And it was a swift spiritual reminder that, yeah. I don't need to wallow in my woes kind of thing because it's really all okay. So anyways, I want to show you all what she sent me. Um, I'm going to link to her channel down below and I'll list the individual items that she put in. Some About half of it is handmade items that she made and they are absolutely fabulous. So I will mention those by name so you can find those videos on her channel on YouTube because y'all are going to want to check this out and make some of them. And I will be doing my own take on some of them in the future, but not right now. Because right now I got a, yeah, I got a couple little quick projects for this week. Because I got a feeling it's going to take me a couple weeks to settle into this new job. I'm not, yeah, I'm nervous about it. I'm excited though. So just bear with me for a couple of weeks while I get settled in. And then at the end of this video, I do have an announcement to make about a giveaway because we did it, you guys. We hit 500 subscribers Saturday, I believe it was. And as of this morning, we were at 556 subscribers. So y'all keep it up because I want to hit 1,000 before the end of the year. And I'm well on my way. So, um, but I can't do it without you guys. You guys are my channel. You are my, you are what makes it what it is. So, um, like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Okay. Anyways, let's get to Lynn's beautiful, beautiful happy mail that just made my weekend. So, you will see here, I'm going to pull. I did have this like all neat and tidy and then I had to move it so many times that I finally, I was like, you know what? This is more like what it came out of the envelope. So, um, to start with, we have this gorgeous rickrack that is... Absolutely beautiful, and I do not have very much rickrack at all, so I was tickled to death to get this because there's a project I'm wanting to use, make using it where you make flowers, so I was very excited. I do have a little tiny bit of rickrack, but not very much, and nowhere near that much. I have like little pieces like that. Then we have there's two of these. Let me find the other one. No, there was just one of these. Um, one of her heart clusters. An absolutely adorable button, tiny little button, and this um, gem dangle that looks like a butterfly. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I just keep looking at it, um, and it says shake it off. So there was, she couldn't have known that when she put it together, but there was a meaning for me in so many of these things that it really, really did just bless my socks off Saturday when I opened it. There are two of her envelope belly band bookmark cluster things. Belly, I keep wanting to call them clusters. They're belly bands. And these are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that pearl work. She has more patience than I do. I'm just like, yeah. I don't think I could get that on that neat and tidy. They are very gorgeous. Um, again, bulb pin dangles. I like how she hangs her bulb pin upside down. Let's start doing that. That makes more sense. And the bookmark inside. And I will be making some of these here soon. Because I like these. They're very cute. I like all of it. But those are particularly cute. And I can see them being very useful. Two of her whimsical House clusters. 
that again are very very beautiful both say new home I have um, specific projects I'll be doing with those here soon I may or may not film that though these buttons though I just wanted to get a close-up of these buttons can y'all see those those are beautiful they are really gorgeous love 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 them and last in the handmaids was oh no two more handmaids with her coffee filter flowers, which I've been meaning to do, but the whole water fiasco here, uh, yeah, that had gotten put off. So we do have water again. Thank you. So grateful for that. It was really hard to go almost four weeks without it. But um, I really want to make some of these, and I was tickled to death to get this one because I have been used to it. Just hadn't been able to make it. Then we have her book plates made from her bird book that she had gotten. And again, from an envelope, this is a window envelope. And how adorbs are these? Y'all, you know, I never would have thought of doing that, but these are beautiful. Very, very nice. Cannot wait to use them. And that is the end of the handmade section. I'm going to move these napkins off to the side for just a moment. Talk about the rest of that, and then I'm going to get to those napkins, because that was where the real blessing and sort of kicking the pants I needed <laughs> came from. Um, she sent me some of these absolutely fabulous paint chips, and I've never mentioned that in my videos, but y'all, I'm addicted to paint chips. I use these little puppies for so many things, um, and you know, we may do some mass makes or three five seven nines with those in the future because now I have plenty um but there's so many things you can do you can take them and they're thick cards so they do great to build stuff up on um they work good for punches because they go through pretty easy which but not so you know they've got some meat to them and um they work good to just snip the corners and you already have a colored tag i love paint chips so i may do a video on that in the future then she included all these gorgeous stickers which are way nicer than the ones that our local dollar store has um they don't we don't really have anything good and these are gorgeous i don't, I don't know what these are i know they're bottles but i mean like what they're made out of i have no clue but I sat the other day and just stared at these. I was like, because you see so many different colors and stuff. Absolutely fabulous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And these, I'm in love with the truck. This is like my dream truck, y'all. Right there. Those old, like, 50s, 40s and 50s. Oh, man, there is nothing like them. And the wood size, yep, love it. These stickers are absolutely gorgeous. And can't wait to use them in spring and summer journals knocked over my ink pad the hydrangea is here um again beautiful this makes me think of spring and this will be perfect for a journal that i'm actually getting ready to work on and that little vespa thing i want one of those not really i mean i kill myself on it because i can't even ride a bicycle why do i think i could ride a motorized bike but i do think those things are super cool and the, the fact that it's in there is adorable Let's see here's one with a bicycle See, the last time I rode a bicycle, I ended up in a ditch literally 10 seconds after I got on it. thought I'd about stabbed it through my side and everything. I was like, okay, I'm done. But I can live vicariously by looking at bicycles. And that one's a beautiful one. I love that green. And I love the pansies, which match the um, Hope and Peace kit that came out Friday on my um, digital kit that came out on my Sunshine and Grace Etsy shop. So I am excited to use these in um, some projects that I have coming up with that kit love all of them just gorgeous she also included so generously some of the pages from that bird book that she used to make the book plates these birds are so pretty like the white eyed vireo I love that I love the blackberries and then this one, the gray cat bird. I don't know what it is about that little guy, but I've looked through all these so many times. And he just looks so chipper and just that sparkle there. And I just wanted to give you a glance at all of them because they are so beautiful. And to show you the rent it, rent it 
I cannot wait to use this image, y'all. I don't know what it is about that little bird, but I just want to pet it. It is so cute. They're all beautiful, but that one, I, just something about that little one. And this winter wren. And I love wrens. They're just cute. So those are the book pages. Then she included these hymnal pages that have, they look like they have been dyed. They're beautiful. I mean, that color and that, cannot wait to use those. And then, I don't even know where she found these. These are typing book pages. And I had forgotten about typing books, y'all. Because it's been, you know, 25 years since I graduated high school. And yes, I did take typing class. And yes, we use typewriters, not computers. So we actually used a typing book like this. So this was like a blast from the past that I just, I thought was beautiful. Especially these two with this color. That is awesome. So I can't wait to use those in journals. I just, I love that color. So pretty. And then we get to the napkins. And I'm going to flip them this way because I'm going to start with this one. Now, y'all, Saturday, I was really not in the mood because we still didn't have water. It had been over three weeks. And I was really tired and frustrated and irritated that it wasn't fixed. And just kind of out of sorts for me. So I got these napkins and was looking at them. And this one, I, lo I love the saying, my faith makes me whole in spirit, soul, and body. Because it does. My faith is who I am. It's what I'm about. And if you've watched very many videos on this channel, you know that. <laughs> because I mention it every video. And I talk about God in all of my work. Is, it's my way of working out what God works into me. So my faith does make me whole in spirit, soul, and body. And it is everything that I am. And anything good in me is Christ in me. So these meant a lot to me. And this one, blessings are a God thing. And that they are. And this was a God thing. You know, I mean, it really was. Because this next one, y'all, abounding therein with thanksgiving, Colossians 2.7. Colossians 2.7 is one of my favorite verses. And it reminds me that... No matter what is going on in my life, no matter how crazy things get or weird or awkward or stressed out or just annoying things get, that I can abound therein with thanksgiving. No matter what I'm facing or going through. And when Lynn didn't know that I would need to know that, but God knew that I would need to be reminded of that. You know, I'm just very thankful because it did remind me that, you know what, it's not that bad. Going well, without water for a few weeks because your, you know, pipes, plumbing is all jacked up is not the end of the world. It's not even that big a deal, really. I mean, and now that I look back at it, we kind of coped with it pretty daggone good. And we came up with some cool ways to deal with the situation and kind of made light of it, you know, through while we were getting through it. But Saturday was just like one of those, everything was, you know, culminating days. And I didn't need to get all stressed like I did. Because, first of all, at least nobody was stoning me like they were the Apostle Paul when he wrote that. You know, he hadn't, I haven't been stoned. I haven't been, like, overly, seriously persecuted for my faith or anything like that, you know. I mean, yeah, we have struggles in our day-to-day -day lives. And we face tribulations in our day-to-day -day lives. But we don't face, like, you know, God's wrath on us. Thank God that we will never face that. It says plainly in Scripture that so we're not appointed into wrath. So that makes me grateful, you know, and I can always focus on the good in any situation and abound therein with thanksgiving, no matter what the physical circumstances are, because I know who I am in Christ. I know what I have in Christ, and that is being blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. And I'd forgotten that for a moment. So Lynn, thank you so, so much for including this napkin, just a simple little napkin. God used that to remind me that I can abound therein with thanksgiving no matter what the situation. So thank you very, very much, Lynn. And thank you, God. Because if it wasn't for him and my salvation, well, I know where I'd be today. And it wouldn't be here making journals and ephemera with you guys. I'd most likely be dead in hell right now.
which reminds me that y'all don't want to go there. So we're going to talk about that in a minute. But first, I want to go ahead and do, I promised you an announcement. Well, Sunshine and Grace hit 500 subscribers. And I said that if I hit 500 this month, I'd do a giveaway of the winner's choice of any journal kit, junk journal, digital journal kit on my site. So I'm going to draw for that on March the 1st. And I realize that's short notice, you guys. I'm sorry. It's been kind of busy and crazy. But um, if you are not a subscriber, subscribe so you can get notified of all the videos and hit that little finger thingy so it'll tell you when the giveaway announcement the winner announcement comes out but um subscribe like and comment this video with anything you want to say to me just talk to me in the comments um specifically if you want to tell me what your favorite project of lens is i would love to hear it because i think they're all so gorgeous i couldn't pick a favorite if i wanted to um, yeah, I couldn't, there's no way I could. I love every single one of them, and Lynn is so talented in her mates. I mean, they're just fabulously gorgeous, and she, she includes so many butterflies. Y'all know me, I got that thing about butterflies, so I was really just, yeah, beautiful. So let me know, what's, what's something you'd like to make from these? Um, what's, yeah, just talk to me in the comments. Let me comment, like, and make sure you're subscribed because I will come back to this video and pull all the comments and choose the winner from that video for one of my digital kits from my Etsy shop on March the 1st because I did hit 500 subbies and I'm so excited, y'all. Couldn't do it without you. Um, and if, when I hit 1,000, y'all better believe there's going to be a big giveaway. I may... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do something really good for that one. So, um, if you're subscribed, share my videos, get the word out. Because the sooner I hit a thousand, the sooner I'm going to do a really huge giveaway. But, um, that's really all I had to say today. So, before I go, let's get back to that I know where I'd be thing if it wasn't for Jesus. I just want to remind you all that Jesus loves you so much he died for you. He did, flat out. That man went to the cross. He suffered and died for you. He was God, but he paid the debt you owe. And yeah, we all, uh, we've all sinned. We all know it. No matter how hard we try to be good, we're not going to be good enough to be righteous in God's eyes. So that's, you know, that's just a fact. <laughs> and the Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And it's true. We have so, that sin separates us from God eternally. And the wages of that sin is death. So, we're all appointed to die at some point. And we don't know when that's coming. We don't know what day that's going to be, what second that's going to happen. None of us has promised the next second. So, now is the time to decide where you're going to go when you die. You gonna go upstairs or are you gonna go down? You know, I'm going up and praise Jesus, I'm going up. I'm so grateful for that fact that He paid the debt I owe, He took my place. And because I know that, I trust that what He did was enough, I'm going to heaven where He is. And I want y'all to go there too. So if you've not trusted the gospel of your salvation, I would love, love, love. Drop it in the comments. Say, Tell me more about him. Tell me about your Savior. Tell me about Jesus. Tell me what is it I need to know. What am I missing in my life? Tell me. And I'll, 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 I'll tell you. Look me up on social media. Private message me. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Greatest love story ever. Tell you all about the precious man who died for you. God in the flesh who died for you. And I'll get you so yeah, we'll get you settled up here. So you ain't gotta worry about it no more. And God will start working in you like he works in me. We'll get you started reading your Bible and yeah, yeah. Everybody thinks, oh, you had to do all this, the that. 
That's not what it's about. It's about what he did for you, not about what you do for him. And yeah, your life will change. But it'll be a good thing. It won't be like, you know, yeah, when I, before I got saved, I thought, oh, you got to do all these rules and, you know, do this, do that, can't do this, can't do, th that's, n believe me, once you trust Christ, that's, that's not, that's not where your focus should be, because that's, I don't want to say you don't, that you shouldn't live the way God says, but it's not going to stop you from getting into heaven if you mess up. Because believe me, we all mess up from time to time. In my lands, I mess up constantly. I did not have a stellar day Saturday. Let's just say it. You know, it wasn't the greatest. So, yeah, just, you know, hit me up and we'll talk about it, okay? Because I'm rambling now. I'm waffling and I don't want to waffle. So, um, you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Rumble, MeWe, Pinterest, all that stuff. I'm really not on Rumble that much. I do put videos occasionally, though, but... It's complicated over there. I haven't quite figured it all out. And I'm just now getting good at some of these other ones. So, yeah, it's kind of on my back burner. But um, you can find the information up in my channel or on the main page for Sunshine and Grace here on YouTube. Or um, if you just Google Sunshine and Grace, Sunshine and Grace JJ or Journals or Miranda McCulley, you'll find me. Um, so if you have any questions about anything and or you want to be entered in the giveaway for a digital kit from my shop, drop that comment. Um, make sure you like and subscribe and all that jazz. And get a hold of me with anything. And it'd be my joy to answer your questions or just talk to you about it. Or if you just want to yell at me, though, come on, people. If you ain't got something nice to say to you, <laughs> I don't need hateful comments, okay? I know this isn't everybody's cup of tea, and I understand that. And if you don't like my videos, turn them off, please. <laughs> I don't want you to listen to them if you don't want to. But, yeah, I hope you will, and I hope you do hear the message. And know that I'm not trying to berate or belittle or anything. This is also with the utmost love. I just want everyone to go to heaven one day. So... <laughs> Um, Y'all have a great day. We'll chat soon. Love you guys. Thanks so much for helping me get to 500. Let's keep going. Let's hit 1,000 before the end of the year. Y'all, it's been real. We'll chat soon. Grace and peace. Bye-bye.